Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Sandra Mom. And Ben Son. Good to see you all. Uh, this week we thought we would talk about the holidays. The holidays and special are special occasions. And special occasions are coming up. And this is gonna be the first uh, holiday. Occasion. First Christmas. First anything, sober pretty much. Yep. So we're gonna go through what it was like when Ben was using and the holidays, Christmas, birthdays, etc., and what it's going to be like this year and how we're feeling. So Ben, while you were using, there were Christmases that... Well, I found every year, even birthdays, Christmas, or whatever, Thanksgiving, anything, doesn't matter. I always was fearful that it would be my last one mm -hmm. or that I would pass away just before it and my family would have to go through that holiday without me. Or I would have that holiday and then die shortly after from the usage of drugs or overdoses or whatever. I feared holidays. I, it's not that I didn't like them. I liked them. It's just every time I came closer to it, I would get more anxious and more paranoid. And I'd be dreading the day of it because I wouldn't want it to happen because I want to live longer than just what I thought I would. Right. And so also, Ben, on the day of, um, were you weaning or what? Well, sometimes I'd be waiting on the days, say Christmas, for example, I'd be hoping I'd get money. Uh, and if I did get money, I'd probably end up using it for drugs. And, and sometimes if I had, I'd try to drink more, or do whatever I could. I'd try to use while I'm with my family if right. I had something. Or if, you know, and if I didn't, then I'd just be sometimes withdrawally kind of and feel not the best. And uh, Right. You know. So I, I want to say... Um, you know, we talk about addiction being a family disease, and I remember those holidays last Christmas, uh, Christmas before, I remember one in particular, I remember saying to you, Ben, I'm coming to pick you up in the morning, and if you are high, I am not going to bring you back with me. And I gotta tell you, it was really tough because, you know, I talk about the boundaries that I set, and this was one of them. So I just remember those days I would be driving to go pick you up, and in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'd be doing the serenity prayer, the three C's, let go, let God, and because I didn't know what I was going to go to. Because if you were using, I had yeah. to be ready to just drive away and leave you behind on Christmas Day. And yeah. whew, my heart. Thankfully, uh, and plus I also said, and I want you showered and clean because also yeah. while you were using, you didn't care, right? You, no. you didn't no, care. No. So I had my boundaries and I remember the drives and there wasn't a time where I left you because you knew. Do you yeah. remember me I saying this tried, to you? I always tried to be sober for the holidays. No matter how hard it was, it was really hard. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would use a bit, but I, most of them I try not to, you know, so. And also that day, you know, you would fall asleep, depending what drug you were yeah. using at that time. I know for me, it'd be like, what kind of mood is he going to be in? So all these things while you were using was really tough for me. And it sounds like it was tough for you because yeah. you'd be thinking, how am I going to get through it? And yeah, right. Um, so that was Ben using. So now you are well over three and a half months, uh, yay, uh, clean, and uh, Christmas, we do celebrate Christmas, and that's next week, and we're looking forward to it. Um, and so, now Ben, yeah. how do you feel about Christmas? First of all, I wanna say, you know, with everything going on, it was really challenging for me to actually get into the Christmas spirit because First of all, what day is it? You know, everything that's going on, the lockdowns that are happening. I found it really hard to get into the Christmas spirit, but I gotta say, Ben, thank you, because you were here last week and you're like, hey, let's put the tree up. So yeah. you actually motivated me for Christmas this year, that's good. which is amazing. So we have our tree up. Um, how do you feel, Ben, being knowing that you're gonna be clean this year? This year is gonna be good, because I uh, may not be able to see as many families I'd like, because COVID, but yeah. I'd still be able to see my mom, and I think it's gonna be awesome because I'm not gonna be withdrawing, I'm not gonna mm. be looking for my next fix, yeah. I'm not gonna be crashing and nodding and stuff, half half asleep, half awake, whatever, throughout the whole yeah. time. I'm gonna actually be able to enjoy it and be awake and like conscious and remember it and communicate and yeah. just have a good time and just relax. You know, don't stress about it. Don't overthink it or anything like I used to always overthink it you know just take it one step at a time and 
It's so right. easy, you know. You don't always have to, just because it's a holiday doesn't mean it, like you have to do anything. Yeah. You just talk to somebody. You can even like you know just yeah. have a nice time. Exactly. And and I gotta say it's easier for me uh, buying you Christmas present. Although I did buy you your Christmas present, you got it early. But when you were using it, I just want to go back to that for a minute. What to give you for Christmas was always a thought. Yeah. I knew I couldn't give him money. I knew I had to be really mindful of what I was giving you because you would sell it or whatever. Maybe you didn't. I yeah, don't know. I tried not to. I think maybe a few things I have, but I don't, yeah. I don't know. I have no idea. But now, you know, I find it was easier um, to shop for Christmas. I don't have to worry. Um, and I know for myself, like I said, you've inspired me to put my Christmas tree up this year. Yeah. Yay. And, um, we're just going to take it one day at a time. And it's really nice to know that I'm not going to have to worry about what kind of mood you're going to be in or any of that. So yeah, it's good to know that I'm not going to be withdrawn or craving or anything. Yeah. I'll be able to actually enjoy this holiday season and next year will be a great year to start yeah. and every, it's just going to be good. It's going to yeah. be way better. Exactly. I mean, it's just our family where we don't Less have stress. we don't have a lot of people, but we will we could FaceTime or Zoom. And so I just want to say to everyone out there, we do wish you all happy holiday. Um, whatever you celebrate, we wish you a great one. Uh, please, you know, remember there are people that are struggling that might be alone reach out to those people that's that's what it's all about for us it's not the presents or the gifts it's being with family talking to family it gives people a reason to reach out and talk to someone yeah right and and that's the main thing and that's what we do is try to reach out to people and know that there is support out there for those that may be alone uh, may be struggling i'll link you up with some phone numbers below or a website so that um you know reach out for help but please don't put pressure on yourself just remember this day too shall pass and it's just you another know. day everybody has the times where they use the most or they're yeah. alone and they just want to be with somebody and they're dead depressed because they have nothing mm -hmm. to do well you know it, it will pass like i always say one second at a time that's what i say yeah you know, one second and those add up and you'll get through it you know you just gotta keep your yeah. head up and you know, that's try. it. Exactly. Um, and just know that uh, we are all thinking of you and uh, we will be reaching out to people that we may think are alone, saying hello, uh, FaceTiming, and uh, just remember where there is breath, there is hope. There is hope. Peace. Take care, Peace. everybody.